So I'm now ready to bring in my logo from Adobe Illustrator and add it to my business card. First, I have to make sure that my frame is selected with the selection tool. And then I'm going to go to File Place, which is Command-D on the Mac and Control-D on PC. And when I go to File Place, I'm going to navigate to my desktop and choose Logo and hit Open. Now, two things are going to pop up that you're going to notice. One, when you bring your logo in, it's going to be much larger than what we originally anticipated. We designed it twice as big as the business card. And two, the logo may look a little rasterized or bitmapped. What we have to do to fix the view is to go to the view menu and go down to display performance and tell it to go to high quality display. This will give you a high res preview of your vector artwork instead of just typical display which gives you a low res preview. And high quality display will change the view and make this look nice, clean, and crisp. But the logo is still too big. So what we're going to do to fix that is we're going to right click on our logo and we're going to go to fitting. Now, if you don't have a right click mouse on the Mac, just hold the control key and click and it'll pop up the same menu. And we're going to go to fit content proportionately. And that's going to fit our logo right nice and neat inside of our frame. So there's our logo. The second part of this is I want to bring in some text and I want to add some text to my business card. To do this, it's a similar process. I need to use a frame. So I'm going to come over to my toolbar and you'll see the letter T for type tool. And when I click on this, I have my type tool and I can draw out a text frame. So I'm going to click and drag out a frame. And at first it's lined up immediately against my logo. Now that's a little too close for my text. I don't want it to touch my logo itself. I want to give it a little room. So I'm going to go back to my selection tool and again I get my bounding box. And I'm just going to grab the left side and I'm going to pull this over a little bit to give myself just a little bit of breathing room between the two sides. Now, a great trick to get back into a text frame after you've gone out and used the selection tool is take your selection tool and just double click on the text frame and it'll take you back to the type tool immediately and you can start to enter your text. So, I'm using Myriad Pro which is a default font for Adobe products. It comes installed with Creative Cloud. I'm going to type in my name and my address and my phone number. Now, I want to change my text a little bit and change the formatting. So this is pretty easy to do in InDesign. First I'm going to select my name and I'm going to come up to my options bar up top. My first set of controls is my font, family, and style. And I'm going to go down where it says regular. I'm going to choose this and go down to bold. I'm going to bold my name. Then I'm going to select the rest of my text and I want to make this a little smaller. So this is my font size setting. And right now it's at 12 point. I'm going to change it just by clicking on the arrow on the right hand side. I have a bunch of preset sizes. I'm going to choose 9 point. And that's a good look for this. Now, the problem with this is my text frame is automatically defaulting to the top of the screen. And I really don't want to have my text at the top of my text frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back to my selection tool and I'm going to reorientate this so that it's centered in my text frame. To do this, we just go to Object, and you can go to Text Frame Options, which is Command-B on the Mac or Control-B on PC. And under Text Frame Options, I can go into Vertical Justification. This is what's going to change the vertical alignment, and I'm going to change it from Top to Center. And if I turn on Preview down in the lower left corner, I can see what it looks like before I hit OK. And that looks good. So I'll hit OK and we're ready to go. So, some basic text. We've got our logo in here. The next step is we're going to add in some more information. We're going to add some color to our text. 